seem to get a bit closer to those rushes. Uh, Jenny's back now having got a drink so I won't say anything other than about what Greg's doing. Bye. There she goes, off she goes. Oh dear. It's true, it looks like it might be a nightmare position. It looks like an absolute shocker. Can he play a sweep? He's open on blue. Um, oh dear, 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 this is shocking. Just spank the blue off, Greg. Come on. got every chance of getting another shot even if you miss the blue here. If you miss the yellow, it's pretty much all over, or it should be. Blue's about a nine yard, he's going for the going for the sweep. This is Brian Boutel, one of our better referees in New Zealand from Wellington. Went over and did a bit of refereeing at the World Champs in London earlier this year. I think what uh, people often forget is uh, it's just as nerve-wracking for the referees for this event as it is for the players, so good luck to Brian. Mm, Greg's gone a long way back to have a look at this now, he's 10 yards back, looking at blue again. Mm. Massive shot in the match. This is the same hoop on the same lawn that Steve Jones played his uh, controversial sweep on in 2000. Oh, in the middle. That was a full Bamford. Spend five minutes making it look difficult and then walk all over it. Oh, Reg would have taken ten, wouldn't he, actually? Oh, well, we're still going. Good yellow. Egg took off uh, from the blue. And he thinks he can just uh, knock this red through hook four. Oh, no, it's just bounced out to the side. Oh, that's fine. Probably play for hoop and are okay here. Nice to be able to hit those hoop strokes a little bit firmer. Oh, good positioning of red there. Uh, yeah, I saw Paul this summer um, at Cheltenham. Yeah. 
All right, just catching up with Greg again. He's made four back. Sending uh, the penult ball of Oppo to Rover, going to partner. And we'll see about this wide join that uh, Jenny mentioned was their plan on the east boundary, which I'm a little bit sceptical about, as I said, but um, let's see how it works. Um, I'll join him when he's pegging out. This is uh, five-time world champion Robert Fulford. What do you think Greg ought to be doing if he decides to peg Red out here? What's the best leave? Um, okay. Um. Well, you tend to not want to, to join up. Um, so you're, you're looking at really pretty some sort of scatter leave. Um, my my inclination would be to go so you've got the three back ball very close to corner four and the um, will be Greg's ball, the pick ball, um, roughly level with Rover. Um, and that means I can take a, a very risky shot um, at Jenny's ball at corner four, which might well give away uh, a relatively easy finish to Jenny. Or they can try and take something a bit safer, um, more at Greg's ball, either from the end of the ball, joining up at Greg's ball, or uh, shooting down the boundary, where they guarantee not to give Jenny a rush. The one option is to, is to just not join up completely, um, and then it's relatively likely you, you see the other guys trying to take position at penalt. Um, I mean, that might not be a bad option either, to be honest. Um, certainly going where I, I first said there is a risk that we hit Jenny and not too difficult to get a run. So, uh, the other option is maybe going to be to Again, maybe a little rover. On the east boundary. And then if they take position at Penol, you've got the option of shooting through that ball um, and, um, and then just kind of making a wide join if you miss. Um, and, that, and that's very playable too. I think I, um, I, mean, I'm, I think I'm inclined to put the pressure on and give them something where they miss, you might finish straight away. Thanks, Rob. So there you go, Rob went for that sort of wide join on the east boundary, but with one of the balls very much sort of in corner four. Um, mentioned also the leave I suggested, of splitting and allowing you to have a shot through the ball at Penalt. That's my preferred choice. But these guys have already indicated they're having the wide join on the east boundary. Now, will they um, actually go as far south as corner four, or will they go too far up and allow just a free shot through them as a double? Let's see what Greg does. He's got blue a long way away from the peg, so it loses a bit of control there. I have to play this with a little bit of pull, but he's very close to the peg here. Yeah, Typical of the wife. 